with breaking news. Thanks for joining us. I'm Megan Healy. We begin our 11 o'clock show with breaking news. The first case of coronavirus has been reported in San Luis Obispo County. Lompoc police are investigating an attempted murder after an early morning shooting that hurt two people. Some people on the Central Coast even saying that this is a fan favorite for them and some even reporting that they were there earlier this weekend. So thoughts and prayers going out to those people and those victims here. And now almost all of us know what social distancing means, but actually doing it is a different story, especially in states that are back open for business. So many things that I have, whether that be like dresses with holes or toasters that are broken, that either I'll throw out, but this is a great way to really reuse that and, and not have to buy more. Yeah, we could have used that last night. My dress was held together <laughs> by tape. tape. Yep. <laughs> And that is TV magic, my <laughs> <Yeah>. friends. <laughs> Here's an earlier look out at Pismo Beach. The beaches are going to be something you might want to avoid because we could see potential for lightning, water spouts out overseas. So you might want to stay inside, drink a nice cup of cocoa, watch that Netflix series that you are binge watching already. This is a pretty big beast here that's covering majority of Southern California, bringing lots of downpour to Los Angeles area. We may see some of the precipitation here on the edge of it. This this brings us to our watches and warnings here. Lots to talk about. Gale warning expiring early Monday morning. We could see 20 to 30 knots gusts up to 40. Guys, these waves could be anywhere from 7 to 11 feet, so pretty dangerous in the outer waters of Santa Barbara County. Right now on KSBY News, the number of coronavirus cases continue to rise on the Central Coast. We'll have the latest numbers. Registration is now available for free COVID-19 testing in San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties. Plus, local elected officials are responding to protesters demanding the reopening of the local economy. Keeping you informed everywhere. KSBY News starts right now. Good evening and thanks for joining us for the news at 10. I'm Megan Healy and I'm Neil Aber. Registration for free COVID-19 testing in Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo counties is now open. In San Luis Obispo County, there are two testing centers operating next week, one in Grover Beach and another in Paso Robles. On your screen, you can see the Paso Robles Veterans Hall where testing will be conducted starting on Monday. Plus, in Santa Barbara County, there will be testing sites in Santa Maria, Lompoc, and Santa Barbara next week. Health officials in Santa Barbara County say testing is open to all, but certain individuals like health care workers, first responders, and seniors will be prioritized. All testing will be by appointment only. To see how you can register for an appointment in either county, you can read this story on our website, ksby.com. And as always, you can read more about our top stories and get continuous news coverage on our website. You can also download our KSBY app. It's free from your smartphone's app store. In news across California, Huntington Beach remains closed following a judge's order. Here's a look at a mostly empty Huntington Beach earlier today. Yesterday, an Orange County judge rejected requests by the city to lift Governor Newsom's temporary closure, drawing nearly 3,000 Orange County residents to the Huntington Beach Pier to protest those state-mandated beach shutdown. Today, lifeguards and police were out there turning away beachgoers. The police chief said officers would start with warnings and then move on to citations and arrests if necessary. To the latest now, this is the first weekend some malls are reopened across the country, but they're back with new rules. By now, almost all of us know what social distancing means, but actually doing it is a different story, especially in states that are back open for business. So how are owners working to keep you safe? Well, NBC's Blaine Alexander explains. On Georgia's first weekend. Back on the Central Coast, we have a heads up for local drivers. You might face delays in Morro Bay tomorrow as crews conduct traffic control. PG&E will be working on transmission towers near South Bay Boulevard and will need the help of CHP to close some roads and direct traffic. Well, that's expected to take place from 7 to 10 a.m. And for about 30 minutes of that window, South Bay Boulevard is expected to be completely closed due to helicopter work. Seems like forever ago that you could go wine tasting. <laughs> I know it's tough no. for wineries out there. Such a huge industry, but it really is. And wine tastings are so much fun too. Coming from Wisconsin, there weren't a ton of wineries, not like there is out here. 
And uh, I had a couple before everything shut down. I've only I been know. here for a few well, months. Well, maybe but. get mom a bottle of wine for I Mother's to. Day. I might have to. <laughs> All right. Well, weather-wise, we're expecting gusty winds. Temperatures are on the rise for next week, but not quite yet. Here's an earlier look out at Shell Beach. You can see some of that lingering marine layer, but clear blue skies ahead. I'll have what you need to know coming up. And U.S. consumers are squirreling away for a rainy day, the historic rate at which Americans are saving their money. And later, the weather has been perfect for some highlights from home. That's yes. no pun intended there by Rob Schiff. Everyone's been getting real too creative, so Rob has that and much more coming up in sports.